Hey GTAC fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10 series. And we're on the arid planet of fogginess. Seems perpetually foggy. I don't get it. Anyway, um... As you can see, I dug out the entryway a little bit more to accommodate what we're going to spawn in. So let's do that. We're going to spawn it in. At least, hopefully, it'll fit in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe it won't. Ah, oh, crap. Is it not going to be small enough? Oh, come on. Oh, we can do it there. But it's turned around, so let's... It's us turn around. <laughs> that way we can spawn it in a little better position. There, we can do it right there. So let's do that. Get it a little lower right there. Okay, and it does that crazy thing. So let's. But it disappears for a second. See? Oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to reset really quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here she is, my small, very, very small cargo CV. Although she does have a couple of amenities. A small constructor. So the O2 station, I'm not sure about that yet, but whatever. It's got a ventilator, so we can fly around in space. Uh, I might get rid of this, though, because it's redundant. The small constructor can actually take its place, because the small constructor can make a few basic things. Um, yeah, I think this will work out really well for the way, for just cargo. Now, what I want to do today, whoa, that was weird. When I went backwards, it like, uh, sliding, sliding, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. Why am I sliding? <laughs> Freaking bizarre. Let's see if I can try that again. Oh yeah, I'm sliding. See, I'm sliding. Freeform sliding. Let's try that again. Yep, there it goes. And my character walks, even though I'm not pressing the button, I swear to God. It's sliding, see? <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, so we've got the ammo box that can hold 2,000. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, that's, you know, that's a that's 20,000 rounds of, of 15 mil. What has this thing got on it? Yeah, it's got a minigun turret. I'm I'm not so sure about that. I think we need to dismantle this thing a bit and reorganize how it is. Uh, probably buff the windows up at least and a bunch of the blocks around it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We might be able to do the... I'm not sure if we have enough cobalt to do the doors though so we're gonna do that we're gonna upgrade this thing that's what we're doing today first of all let's knock off the let's knock off that because I actually kind of want the other I want the cannon turret so let's do that Okay, and we'll make sure we are connected to the base. That's good enough. Okay, good. And we'll just grab this so much quicker with the T2 multi-tool. There, I think we had to grab it to be able to get out anyway. Wow, look at that. I don't think I'm going to be able to park that thing in here. Crap. Not with a turret on it. Yeah. Wow. Oof. 
I don't even know if I can get out the way I'm going to have to dig this thing out, I bet. I think I'm going to have to dig this thing out more. Hmm. We should get it out in... We should, we should get it out of the hangar, then at least. Let's, let's do that. Let's get it out of the hangar. So we'll put a little bit of fuel in. And... bunch in the output? Yes. We don't need a lot. Cuz I might be moving the motors and stuff, so I don't I don't know if we need to go crazy with the fuel. Okay. So let's change view here. And it's running. So let's um, turn the thrusters on. Lift off. Can we? Yeah, this isn't bad view. Okay. And ooh, can we sneak out? I think we're hitting dirt. Are we hitting dirt? Nope, nope. Yeah, we're hitting dirt now. Let's see how far we can get. Lower down. Okay, let's just turn it off. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got some work to do. We've got some work to do. Let's jump out this side. Okay, well, I've got a bunch of mining to do. And we've got a bunch of... Not much, though. Uh, well, yeah, I guess so, quite a bit. Okay, so I've got to really open up the tunnel and then we're going to I don't know I guess we'll just park it out here because it's gonna have the turret on it so we'll make a little pad we'll bring the pad out a little bit more and I want to once I get that done then I want to restructure how this thing is with the uh, with its cargo I think I can do a little better job with some extensions and stuff instead of a whole bunch of singles that's going to throw it off balance so okay i'm going to get all that going i'm going to get get that mined out get those parts done and we will be back to do that have dug out the rest of the tunnel i i was successful in flying it out and back in so we know it fits um i cooked up some more stuff and so Let's remove, okay, so first of all, let's link to what we want to link to. Let's just go like this, and is it going to be blocks? 104, yeah, that sounds like the right, that sounds like the right one to link to. Okay, um, let's remove, come on, oops, pushing the wrong button, that's why three that's what we want three retrieve blocks there we go and we'll just start taking these hmm you know what let's repair that i'm not gonna i don't think i need to remove those so i'm not going to let's take that and that and that and that that and that yeah this was not designed for this was not designed to handle weight distribution properly okay I also want to remove all of these and get rid of these. Pop that off. Okay, is that the same on both sides now? That looks like about it. Okay. 
So what is not balanced here? You can see this is not balanced. That was just a block there, but it had a, a thruster on this side. There's a thruster there, so there's... Unbalanced thrusterage. Now if I put that one over here, so which direction is that one actually facing? <laughs> Here, let's go like this. So that's facing forward. So if I put the forward one there, that would at least balance it out a little better. So let's do that. Oh, wait, I took a thruster. That's why it's not balanced. Okay, well, let's put that back. <laughs> derp a derp. I didn't realize I'd, I guess that was a thruster there. I thought it was a block. So what do we got here? Let's take a look. Nope. Nope. Oh my goodness, come on. I want that and to go like this. Thank you. So we need one more at the back. Okay. Okay, let's not mess with that. So what we need to do is balance everything else. Everything else looks for it. Okay, let's get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of the interior stuff right now. Hmm. Do we leave the RCS there or do we move it up one? We do need to split the ammo in two. So let's move that up one. Okay. So where is it? Right here. And then we've got container controller. Container extensions. And oh, you know what? I bet you that went into output, didn't it? Yeah. That's fine. That is fine. Okay. So we want that up there, I guess. Sure, that works. And then, oh no, wait, no, that does not work. Because I was going to separate, use that as a separator. <sighs> derp a derp. Okay, so let's try this again. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to do separator. Okay, here. Let's do it right in dead center. So there. And then... What are we connected to? Blocks. There we go. And it's right there. Okay. So let's try this again. Nope, not that one. This one. And we don't want it there, we want it one back. Boom. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the the ammo here. And then we're gonna do container controller for them. And then we're gonna do Our extension for them. Then we're going to do. Um, hmm. Now I'm starting to wonder if I sh if I should have that. Hmm. Oh, this will work. This will work if I. Uh, see, I don't want the cargo I 
actually. Let's take a look. Is this stuff... Airtight true, okay, and airtight true, okay. Just making sure, because it would have sucked if it wasn't. Okay, let's face that down, although I don't think it really matters at this point. This is going to be a pain in the ass to get to. So let's do, where do we do it then? Right there. Yeah, easier to see and get to. Okay. That way we can put the... You know, what we should do is pop these off. Because those aren't a good spot for those. We don't need that much ammo for this thing. And then that's not airtight. See that? That's not airtight. Or RCS airtight? No, they aren't. Okay, so that's not airtight either. So that has to get surrounded by airtightness. So let's do that with extensions. So if we go like that, that, yeah, we should be able to just fill this right in pretty much. Okay, so that is, uh, I'm not going to be able to put another ex cargo box in without it getting all unbalanced. Okay, so that, no, that's not sealed there. So we're going to have to use, hmm. Um, I'll use some regular cargo boxes here because I know there are some airtight ones. Yeah, that's a new one. Let's try that. So if we do there. And there, okay, so that gives us tons of cargo now. Tons. But we still need to fill this in. Now, I could put more cargo extensions in. Or... I could do the hardened steel. What do we got here? Let's see what it's got. We're going to group this up. We have one controller with 48K. Well, that's a lot. And then two 8Ks. We got the ammo box should be 8K. Forty-eight K. Uh damn, I really want to do some some more. So let's do let's actually make some more extenders. Make ten more. Okay, and then I 
What else? What else? What else? Is that thing coming in? Oh, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. That's fine. Um, right. Let's grab the extenders. So I made two. Wow. Slacker. Oh, because it's going into the output. I keep forgetting. That's fine. Okay. So if we just go, now let's do the back. I think it's better. If we do, if we do this. Do these we can do do the angle ones yeah have some funky angles going on I like that I like funky angles okay so that should be sealed there. Now, do we run extensions all the way down along? What the heck? Do it right to there. And we don't have enough. Okay. So I need two more. And then this will just get filled in with, with hardened steel blocks instead. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to remove all this, too. So I've got enough. Okay. Okay, should I, should I actually get rid of all of these, too? Protect the core. that dude like right down here was he actually he's right freaking here holy crap <laughs> okay you know what let's uh let's snipe his ass I can't believe it came right came right into the base here Nice. And he's dead. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I made this T2 sniper because I think I'm going to be using it a lot. I can't believe he came all the way inside here like that. Okay, so obviously the uneven train is not going to stop these things. Good to know. Okay, let's get this sealed up. We need two more, right, we need two more of the regular, well, let's put this to blocks. We need two of those. Okay. 
Let's grab these. We got uh, blocks. We need those. We need those. Okay. Get these extensions in. So there's the extensions done. So now we just got to put the blocks back in. These are the bottom ones here, and they're easy enough. So that's the controller that we want to potentially swap out for a ore and wood one down the road. Because I might use this crazy little thing to mine with. I was thinking, you know, it's like, do I really need a big giant vehicle or just something with decent storage and put a, I can, I can keep modifying this thing, right? Like I'll, I can keep adjusting it and build, build it the way I need it. Okay. So let's, it's going to be, what is that one? Is that corner piece? Uh, I think it is this one. Like that. Okay. Excellent. And then those are just the regular slopes like that okay and then I guess we could upgrade those back ones too this thing's gonna get awfully freaking heavy though here okay I think she's resealed I think she's all resealed up and with so what I plan on doing is I'll be popping these windows out probably. Okay. Let's get up in here. So now what we do we want to do? We want to make sure that This is going to function for us. I mean, this is stupid in the back. This doesn't make any sense here. Oh, and it's sliding me along the glass again. That's trippy. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Um, I got to be careful not to put heavy things in the uh, in the two small cargo containers because they're not centered. What are we putting in here? We're going to re-put in an oxygen station? Really? I think we need a fridge for sure. And a small constructor. Not really sure about anything else. I mean, I'd love a medical station, but I don't think we can pull it off. An O2. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we got going here. Okay, so if I if I pop that window out, and move that back one. If 
That would work better. Let's do that. Let's do that. So we're going to pop that window out. Move this back one. Well, that's just a regular controller, isn't it? No, I got one on me. Okay. So we put, because that was airtight. So we can, no, I don't want to, yeah, like that. That's good, like that. And then, oh, nice, it's upside down. I wonder if it'll let us uh, rotate. Oh, and what is showing to be not airtight now? These should be airtight. Yeah. Huh. Hang on, let's fire this up. It is not airtight. Okay, so where is it not airtight? I might have to put the controller container under where it's not airtight. It's got to be this. Yeah, see the... Well, the radiation goes up, but I could hear the noise of the outside. Is that so bad putting it there? Uh, I don't want to. I really don't want to. But. And then. Not really sure what we should use here. Just regular, oh yeah. Uh, hmm. So if we put it there, I'm just gonna spin it. extensions there. I mean, ideally, that would be the best. Or even thrusters. Oh, yeah, maybe thrusters. So let's leave. Let's just put the windows back in for now. Okay. And there we go. It is sealed in here. Walking around, there's no, there's no burn areas. No. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's a burn area. No burn area there, though. No. Okay. Okay, so just one burn area, but I, I don't know where. Oh, it's this window because of that thruster there. Eh, just stay out of that one block. Okay, so it's that back block. But I just popped the window out that, that has the heat from the thruster. And I'm, if I plan on putting more thrusters there, then obviously that whole area, these blocks are going to be dangerous too. So I'd have to do something with that. Okay, so keeping that in mind, we need to... Let's just put this here. That means we've got to walk around everything all the time. Yeah, that's fine. And then... 
Um, fridge. We can do the fridge here. Do a big one. Huh. You know what? We could do... Where are you? Could potentially put a cloning station right here. Oh, ran out of fuel. Uh, repair that medic and cloning, right? Yeah, you know, that's not bad. I think. I think we can actually make this work like this. Because it's not too... I just got to pop the constructor off to get to the controller to remove the controller to put on... to change that out for a um, an, an ore one if I ever want to put a turret on. So that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. This works. Okay. And then how's that standing? Not the right way. Okay, how do we want that? Do we want that to the back? Yes, we do. And then we want that rotated. Uh, I think like that. There we go. You know what? And realistically, we can still walk around the whole thing. I don't know how I pulled that off, but somehow I got more space with probably without sacrificing much cargo the only problem is I added a lot of weight with the um, with the hardened steel blocks I need to upgrade the windows on this thing too okay well that's awesome let's do the guns I want um, put these ones on right there beside the, the ramp I like it whoop okay and then we should probably have something off the back too Off the back and off the front, we can do um, like this, like that. Which one's going to look better? Probably that. Is that airtight? True. Huh. Do two at the back from where the windows were. That would block me in from getting to the fridge. But you know what? I can RCS into the fridge. Now, let's just... It's not a bad idea, though. Getting rid of that. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, okay. So, we'll get rid of that. And then we do the turret like that. And spin it. Like that. Nope, like that. Or like that. If 
we do that, we we'll still leave room inside. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got three, three sentry guns there. I don't know where to put the fourth one. I don't know where that makes sense. Can knock that out. Although they don't have very good uh, hit points, do they? It doesn't say. Hit points 50? 50. Yeah, no. That's not going to replace anything. 50? Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so <laughs> let's not. I'm not even going to put that on then. Let's not bother. I think we're done with it. I think we're done. We just got to get enough to upgrade and we'll put the projectile turret back on. And let's put it right here. Now I want the cannon turret. Okay. We'll put it right there. Right there. And there we go. A little bit of upgrades. Um, some definitely some cargo upgrade. I'm gonna have to upgrade all the blocks though to to um, harden steel, and then we gotta paint and texture this thing. So I think that'll be for next episode. For now, we'll just get this thing. Oh, you know what? Wi-Fi. Did I? Yeah, I got Wi-Fi in there. Okay, good. Uh huh. Well, I think we're, I think we're golden. I think we're golden. Not much to it. I mean, there is still space in here for a couple of things. There's a couple of, there's a a few blocks unused that we can utilize if we need to, but I don't think we're gonna need to. So, well, guys, I'm gonna leave it off here. Next episode, we're going to take the miner, we're going to attach it to the back of this thing, and we're going to go to the moon, I think, and try and collect a bunch of uh, cobalt, magnesium, and pentaxid. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.